Reading Municipal Light Department was founded on May 21, 1894, by special town meeting voters in Reading, following state legislation passed in 1891, allowing cities and towns to form their own gas and electric utilities. This action was fueled by a belief that electric service should be locally owned and controlled. Reading's own generating station was constructed on Ash Street in Reading and began operations in 1895. In 1908, additional legislation is passed allowing the town of Reading to sell electricity to other municipalities. Service is extended to Linfield Center, North Reading, and Wilmington in 1909, 1910, and 1911, respectively. In 1929, RMLD moves its business office and popular appliance showroom to 525 Main Street to accommodate its growing operations. In 1939, RMLD moves again to its office located on Haven Street. The Haven Street Appliance Showroom operated until 1976, and appliance service work was discontinued at the end of 1977. In 1994, after over 50 years on Haven Street, RMLD moves its offices to the current facility located at 230 Ash Street, next to the original generating station. RMLD makes its first outside power purchase from Boston Edison in 1925 to supplement its generating station and the growing demand for electricity. In 1926, RMLD contracts with Boston Edison for all of its required electricity. In 1928, RMLD makes international news by establishing the first all-purpose household residential rate. Prior to this, there were separate rates for lighting and for running various appliances. In the 40s and 50s, RMLD experiences explosive growth, with annual kilowatt-hour consumption quadrupling from 1948 to 1959. Construction of Goss Substation at Causeway Road in Reading is completed in 1970, part of the largest plant expansion project in RMLD's history. In a historic change triggered by the 1965 Northeast Blackout, the six New England states become one interconnected power pool, providing profound economic and technical benefits to the operations of all utilities in New England. In 1976, RMLD signs a contract with Boston Edison, which will eventually allow for the purchase of wholesale electricity from other suppliers. In June of 2000, construction is completed on a distribution substation connected to transmission lines in North Reading. The station is designed to accommodate growth and enhance the system's efficiency and reliability. With an increased focus on energy efficiency, RMLD introduces energy audits for customers in 1992, followed by its popular Energy Star Appliance Rebate Program in 2002. Renewable energy system rebates and programs targeted towards commercial customers are added in 2010. RMLD introduces a green choice option in 2006 to provide customers a simple, affordable way to support electricity produced from green power sources such as wind, hydro, solar, and biomass. In 2017, RMLD introduces Solar Choice, a community shared solar program which allows customers to participate in locally produced solar without installing a system of their own. Over 1,100 customers are subscribed to participate in two large solar arrays that have a combined capacity of 2.67 megawatts. Also in 2017, RMLD installs a 2.5 megawatt distributed generator at its North Reading substation. The unit is run during peak times when the electric grid is most stressed and wholesale electricity prices are at their highest. With a focus on the ongoing electrification trend, RMLD purchases a 100% electric vehicle and installs a public electric vehicle charging station in the parking lot of its main office in 2018. In 2019, RMLD begins the installation of a 5 megawatt lithium ion battery unit at the North Reading substation. The battery unit will be used in conjunction with the distributed generator to reduce peak electric usage. 
While RMLD continues to adjust to what has become a rapidly evolving industry, some things never change. For 125 years, RMLD has provided safe, reliable, and affordable electric service to the local community as its not-for-profit public power utility. Because RMLD is local, we're able to respond quickly when issues arise. RMLD is overseen by members of the local community who are in tune with its unique needs. This means that decisions about how the utility is run are made by people who live and work in our community, not by corporations. RMLD has a long tradition of actively participating in and contributing to the local community through civic organizations, events, and education programs. As a public power utility, RMLD is rooted in and committed to the communities we serve. Reading Municipal Light Department, celebrating 125 years of service.